guys freedom one and welcome to my live reaction to hunter hunter chapter 379 collaboration all right guys so last week we started to see the spiders are starting to make their moves right we see the mafias are also starting to make the moves to try and stop the spiders what's going to happen this week so Everything started seemingly going up and then it seemed kind of plateauing again. So hopefully we're going to get some action soon. We know that the spiders are after Hisoka and we know that Hisoka is on this ship somewhere. Where on this ship? We don't know because we haven't seen him. And as far as we know, I never knew Hisoka was there to begin with. So this is quite a real revelation. So it's going to be interesting to see how this all starts to play out. Hopefully we're going to get some pretty good action soon because Hunter x Hunter as of late has been quite information heavy and that's not the most entertaining and exciting thing. So hopefully we're going to get some action fairly soon. But anyway guys, let's get into this week's chapter. Upon hearing a knocking, she headed for the entrance. Shortly after she opened the door, there was the sound of her collapsing. Thump. Hunter x Hunter. Chapter. 379, Collaboration, Murder, A Survivor's Testimony. I tried calling out, but there was no response. Miss, are you okay? As I exited the toilet, panicking, there was that man was standing. So the man with this uh, moon scar, we did see him. He's part of one of, a, one of the princes, uh, an army or guards, and basically... The more people he kills, the more high the level. Out of the way. Out of the way. I stepped aside. Okay, so he looks and then he sees the lady collapse to the floor. If you make any noise, I'll kill you. Even if that man hadn't told me, I couldn't have, I couldn't have speak, spoke or moved even if I wanted to. I decided that in order to survive, I had better do exactly as he said. And that was all I was focused on. Okay, so we see that this guy, he's going through, he's just killing people, left, right, and center. Hmm. What now? I had been planning to stop at exactly 20 people, nice and tidy. That's why I went out of my way to specifically target a single passenger room. Please, 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 please. Convinced I'd be killed. I made so much as a peep, I simply prayed to myself. Hmm. Hang on a second. One, two, three, ten, twenty. What? Twenty-one? Oh, that's right. The level and number of people are one off of each other. Damn it. This just doesn't sit right with me at all. Which one should I go by? Which one should I go by? Son of a bitch! So he's got it. Alright, so a little bit of him, he's got it cracking his shit because he just realized, wait a second, I was already level 1. I killed 20 people. That makes me level 21. I had no idea what he was talking about. Ugh, I can't take it. It's so wrong. <laughs> Screw it. I'm just going to do it. Just as I thought, I was about to be killed. I heard a scream from outside and could hear a bunch of people gathering around. The sound of people running every which way through the corridors. Sound of banging on a door, shriek, a voice calling out for someone. There was just so much noise happening outside of the room. And then that man. He locked the toilet room from the inside. From the inside? Yes. And I was here all the way until the Royal Army soldiers pried the door open. He had to have escaped from inside there. All right. So how did he do it? But a rat wouldn't even be able to fit through the toilet drain pipes, let alone a human. The royal soldier, soldiers said the exact same thing to me. But that man never came out of the toilet. And the royal army had also confirmed that the door was indeed locked. If you want to know any more, you'll have to catch the culprit and ask them yourself. Okay. 
So the testimony is in fact true. They were probably dealing with a Nen user, but something still seems off. Killing her would have taken not more than an instant. Why would the culprit do something as illogical as leaving a witness behind? Was he distracted and worried from the commotion outside? No. This is someone who stole the lives of 20 people without missing a bar, a beat. The words level and number of people as well as 20, 21 and 1 off. These are the keys to unraveling the mystery. Because as we already know, basically a normal person gives you 1 point, I believe. A Nen user was 10 points or 20 points. Um, a Prince was 50 points. By the way, what is your relation to the female victim? We just happened to sit next to each other in the cafeteria and found we really clicked with each other. Okay. But I never got the chance to really get to know her or be there for her. Okay. Why don't you head back to your room and rest for now? I'll probably come by to question you a few more times. Okay, so it looks like she's heading off. Haley family member, Kashi, level one. Alright, so this is actually someone part of the Haley family. Alright, and it's a level one, so okay. So this guy's on the side of the murder, that's why he covered everything up. And like that, I'll weave some truth in with the lies, some lies in with the truth, that I can leave little hints for them to piece together why I wasn't killed. Excellent work. Just make sure you give an accurate testimony about my scar. Are you sure about that? I want to get a feel for the investigation prowess of the army and the hunter association. I want to know how long it will take them to find criminal after identifying him okay but are you really sure if you get caught you'll be executed no doubt about it they won't catch me and if they do I'll just escape the boss said it herself didn't she if you wish for it if you wish for it strong enough your ability will answer you I can feel it just now I was bestowed my gift my ability and this power will take me anywhere I want to go. And as Luini said that he said that he vanished from the toilet. A spatial teleportation ability. Not exactly an ability I'd care for at all. If it really all is it really all that fun rushing forward to get everything done. I'll just take it slow, both raising my levels and wishing for my gift. I have succeeded in making contact with the investigation team. Next, to go in even deeper. Okay. A single room with one door, closed in by walls with no means of entering or leaving. These are the requirements to activate my ability. Once I activate it, I can open the walls or floor of that room and travel to another location. Alright, so basically you can create a door. I can turn to my original room at any time, but... If the door to the original room is open and thus it ceases to be a locked room, my ability is reset and cannot be used on that room again. My destination is also limited to places that I have been before. It seems I'm even able to travel back and forth outside the ship, but with the risk of my ability getting reset, I, have, I haven't tested it for now. Alright, so basically he's testing his ability to see what he can and can't do. Alright, for now I'm going to look forward to my collaboration with the spiders. Okay, so we've got people sleeping. Looks like we're moving on back to the spiders. They've all vanished. Not quite. One person escaped. Okay. So we see a trail. I don't like this one bit. It's like they're... So like they're just screaming, follow me. His blood has dried. This was committed around the same time the corpse disappeared and reappeared. I don't understand what this guy is trying to accomplish. If he wanted to frame us for the murder of the one mafia family member, that one person back there would have been good enough. Letting the other mafia members escape doesn't make sense. He couldn't easily testify that we weren't the ones that did it. If the blood's owner still lives, that is. 
it's possible that whatever tr transpired here has nothing to do with us. Hmm? You think these are each the work of different people? Not exactly. What reason would they have to let a wounded person escape? To let him lead the way straight back to his teammates' hideout, alright? The culprit was perfectly content for us to leap to action after seeing the corpse and wind up breaking into a huge dispute with the other other mafia members. At least they would have been. they would have been. I believe the enemy is a hitman from another family who desires a confrontation to break out between us. Okay, so like seemingly like they figured out what's going on. So then what are you saying? He just happened happened across us and decided he'd try to use us? Don't you think so? But since it didn't work, he had no choice but to continue on with his original plan. Don't you think so? That's a stretch. Okay. In fact, the more I think about this culprit, the more they seem just like us. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is nothing more than my speculation. It may be exactly as you said, separate acts by different culprits. Perhaps the culprit made a mistake and someone escaped and he's gone to chase after him. Regardless, the first corpse, corpse, without a doubt, that was someone playing games with us. So he seems a bit irritated. We definitely would have noticed if it was Hiska's bungee gum. He attached his gum to the corpse and yanked it over the tops of our heads, that is. Not Hisaka. The neck severed not by a card, but by a large blade and sloppily. Whoever it is, their blade isn't pointed at us, but at the Cha'a family. The security here seems a bit excessive for the bottom deck. I wonder what they've what they've got inside. There's no telling what lurks behind closed doors. Is it locked? I figured as much. Hey. I said that someone's at the end of the hall. I am Wang, underboss of the Cha'a family. I am Wang, underboss of the Cha'a family. My superiors have instructed me to wait, but I hate slow, tedious work. So I'll just ask you about things you can answer. Huh? Were you the ones that attack our warehouse keepers? Okay. So it looks like we're going back to the meal room. Seeming like this guy's like a boss or something. We already moved seats. Or do you still have something to say? Aren't you going to look for Hisaka? Franklin? I don't take pointless actions. He's searching for us to kill us as well. I just wait. He'll eventually come to me on his own. Cha'a family vice boss. Itoku. I see... Okay, interesting. I've just gotten word from some of our young troops two, that two of our warehouse keepers were killed and four were abducted. What do you make of that? It wasn't us. At least that's what I'd like to say, but if you were the ones that started it, then that's a different story. If you come picking a fight, we aren't the type to back down. Okay. I can't see that happening. We had sent word that three of your members had gone to the warehouse to retrieve their weapons. So we would have had no reason to prove your, to provoke your members. In that case, it wasn't us. Someone else, a third party, must have taken advantage of the situation. Okay. You think it's Hisaka? Who knows? It might be him. It might not be him, but it wasn't us. I see. By the way, was his guy your only reason for boarding this ship? No. Well, we are thieves, after all. Like, mm -hmm. But we won't be moving on to any other plants until we kill Hisoka. So we won't be starting fights unless someone picks one with us first. I understand. So it looks like he's putting out his uh, cigarette in his meal. Sorry to have bothered you. Alright, so that's just going to piss him off. 
Yes, understood. My apologies. I believe I've got a vague idea of what happened now. That over there is the Cha'a family hideout. And earlier, a man came by carrying one of our warehouse keepers who was drenched in blood. Two of our idiot men were so shocked at the scene that they let him in. Okay, I see. And as soon as he came inside, kaboom, I take it. Not exactly. According to the testimony of those inside the hideout, the man's face was also covered in blood, so they couldn't identify him. But he kept shouting, the spiders did this. And we've been telling you this whole time that we didn't do anything. This is all his scheme. Yes, I know. After all that man, after all, that man somehow disappeared at some point. And with this warehouse keeper already dead, we've no way to verify his story. But what really pisses me off is that someone thinks they can manipulate us with a sloppy setup like this. Thankfully, you are calm, level-headed people who will listen to reason. I believe the enemy is a hitman from another family who desires a confrontation to break out between us. Okay. So seemingly, he's come up with the same conclusion. Perhaps entering your hideout itself was his true goal. Entering our hideout? What do you mean by that? There's a kind of activation requirement for spatial teleportation abilities known as marking. It's a, restri it's a restriction that keeps one from jumping, teleporting, to a place they've never actually visited. So he came to fulfill that requirement. If you're a NEN user, then you should well understand just how dangerous it is now that he succeeded. They are completely removed from the concept, from the concept of balance. They don't hold anything back, frank and open, without any concern for enemy or ally. And they haven't then they have enough power to do as they please and back it up. Well then, if I proposed we team up, would you accept? As I thought, they are seeds of danger. I must crush them before they have a chance to sprout. Chapter 379. End. Alright guys, so that was another very information and speech uh, heavy chapter. Not a lot of action, kind of just investigating this guy of the moon scar. He's going around killing a lot of people. He's getting into places he shouldn't be getting into. And that's pretty much it guys. Like, yeah. But anyway guys, that is all for me. Let me know in that comment section below what you guys thought. Did you like it? Didn't like it? All that kind of jazz. And as always, guys, I'm free no one. You guys are awesome. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 40 subscribers. We're only one off. And of course, dingle that bell because it will dangle every time I upload. And as always, I'll catch you guys with another live reaction. Peace.